Hi guys. Um, good morning, all of you. Hope all of you can hear me. Anyone, guys? Can you please confirm? Uh, is the audible, guys? Yes, yes sir, you are audible. I can hear you. Right, right, right. Thank you. So, guys, like um, uh, we have taken two uh, introduction classes. We have started in the last week, guys. Only two classes has been happened. So, if anyone has missed the previous classes, guys, don't worry. It is only just a basic introduction classes only, guys. So, nothing I started with practical. Just in the first class, I just given some introduction, right? Um, nowadays, everyone know about that, guys. Power BI is a data visualization tool. And what is data visualization? So, just a little bit um, technical discussions I have done, guys. So, what is data visualization? Converting our raw data into a visual context. So why should I convert the data into a visual format? So to understand and to make the interpretation of the data very easily. So why? Because all the business managers, the business, uh, the what are the business units? So they want to understand the complete uh, their business only in the format of the uh, the day, the visual only they want to understand the data guys they don't want any uh, such kind of and what we can say uh, or raw data they don't want to access them so technically they are not expertise and apart from that raw data does not provide you any information to us so if you want to look into deep into them we have to understand what is going to be the data visualization and all these things we have to understand so like how to do the data visualization, uh, one is going to be uh, either by using coding we can do guys, and the second one is going to be done by the help of a GUI based. Coding means either by using some languages like Python or R, etc. You need to know about those languages. GUI based means we don't require any languages guys, simple drag and drop operations can help you to create the visuals guys. And apart from that, how the history, uh, how the old traditional tools used to be there after that business intelligence tools and now the latest tools, how the differences slightly. I didn't started with any practicals also. I just given some little bit idea about that, guys. And after that, I also have discussed about the course curriculum, uh, the course content and all these things I have just got discussed about that. So just uh, like uh, how the sessions will take place, what is the timing, uh, et cetera. Just I've given some, um, the, the overview, the roadmap, uh, the roadmap to our, uh, to become a Power BI expert. So how to, what are the things we have to learn? Uh, just a little bit idea. I didn't start it with anything also, like how the course curriculum is designed and all these things also we, we discussed. And apart from that, what at the same time, what you can expect from our from our side. And at the same time, what we are expecting from your side also. I just given some uh, regular attendance. We don't capture the attendance, guys, but regular attendance is required. So please connect from a laptop with a stable and a good internet connection. And apart from that, as I, as I said that, so try to practice all the case studies, whatever the class examples I'm giving. Okay, all these things, you just try to understand those particular concepts also, guys. Okay, and day-to-day -day notes also I'll give you guys, day-to-day -day notes. Uh, right now, I'm not going to give any notes right now. Whenever I started with the practical, I'll give you the, the notes also, regular notes. Apart from the, whatever you whatever you are going to prepare yourself. If you want, we can write your own running notes also, guys. I will also give day to day, which is going to be the documents, uh, one PDF file also I'll give you, which contains all the scenarios, what we discussed on that particular day. I'll discuss about that. Topic wise, I'll give you the, uh, the PDFs and all these things, materials, the soft copy materials. And apart from that, MCQs, uh, interview point of views. So whatever we require. So interview questions and all these things, I'm going to give you guys. Around 500 questions are there, guys. Okay, so entry questions are going to be around 500 questions are there. Day-to-day -day MCQs are also will be available, guys. Around some 200 plus MCQs are also there. Plus interview questions also, we are having them, guys. Okay, so that is about the course content, what I have discussed in the, the last session, guys. So coming to the course content, I didn't uh, show you the course content. Just once, I'll show you the course content once uh, carefully, guys. Just have a look into that. Uh, how that means just to get an idea otherwise before going to that let me tell you the um, let me give you a, a brief introduction regarding the what are the basic uh, the pipelines that are uh, part of your uh, this data uh, whatever the power bi visualization what we talk about that so just a uh, not that much it is going to be guys so just a small technical aspects i'm going to discuss about that like whenever you want to uh, create the reports or whenever you want to design or whenever you want to work in the Power BI. So what are the different stages, guys? What are the different uh, stages that you can uh, you can work or you have to work in the Power BI projects? 
So the first one is going to be nothing but guys. So whenever we are talking about the steps, whatever the steps that are involved in the, um, the Power BI project is going to be step one, guys. Step one is going to be nothing but we all of you know that whenever you want to create a visual, the first important task is to be nothing but guys. We have to, first of all, we have to get the data. We have to, what we have to call it as guys, get the data. So we simply call it as get the data or import the data, what we can call it as. I'm, I'm just talking not about the Power BI guys. Generally, I'm talking in a generic way. I'm going to be talking about that. So what shall I do guys? First, what we have to do guys, get the data or what we are going to call it as import the data. So get or import the data and then what we have to do guys and transform the data guys. Transforming is going to be nothing but what we will call it as cleaning the data guys. So what we have to do first of all guys, get your data first of all and then what you have to do guys, transform it or we have to clean up the data guys. Because when you get the data in the real time, the data will not be in a proper structure, guys. So don't think that ready-made, that means directly data is imported and directly ready-made data will come. And then uh, we are going to directly, we can use the data too, which is going to be create the visuals, guys. The main task is to transform the data, guys. We have to do a lot of cleanup. Data does not come in a proper format, guys. So your real data will not be in a proper format. Data will be there, guys. But nowadays, what they are doing is, guys, they are putting the data into different, different formats, a different styles, a different, which is going to be, data does not come in a clean format. First of all, we have to get the data. And then what we have to do, guys, we have to transform the data, guys. That is what we call it as step one. And after doing the this one, guys, this step two is a little bit, um, it's not going to be that can be understandable for you. But later, I'll tell you the application, guys. What we have to do is, we have to do something called as data modeling we have to do, guys. We have to perform some kind of a data modeling. Like something like I can make you understand that it is going to be something like a designing part we have to do, guys. Why do you require all these things? What we'll call it as later. In Power BI, this is what we are going to call it as an a semantic model we have to create in, guys. Your semantic model is nothing but your data model, what we have to create in. With the help of the data modeling only, with the help of the semantic model only, we can create the reports, guys. Just only four steps will be there, guys. Step one is to nothing but get your data, clean up the data. And step two is going to be nothing but do the data modeling or create the semantic model. And step three is going to be nothing but we have to create the visuals, guys. What we have to do, guys, we have to create the visuals. And the step four is going to be nothing but what we call it as publish or deploy your reports, guys. That's it, guys. These are the four stages, guys. Publish or deploy the whatever the visuals or whatever the reports we have created, guys. Visuals or what we call them as reports. So these are going to be the four important steps, guys. Very simple. Last step is not going to be that much uh, time taking. That is very easy, guys. The mainly the time taking is going to be nothing but the first three only, guys. And that too, the most important is going to be step one and step two, guys. Why? Because how much you have been clean up the data, that much data is going to be how much as much you clean up the data, guys, your visuals data, whatever the visual provides you the correct information, guys. Otherwise, they don't provide you the correct information. What is the purpose of this data modeling and semantic modeling, guys? So whenever you want to add some more and more calculations and all these things, we are going to create the semantic models we created. It will become simply, it will become simplified, guys. Creating of visuals are going to be become simplified whenever we go for this kind of an, uh, the semantic model, what we have to go for, guys. That's it, guys. These are going to be the four stages, guys. As I already told you, just if we can spend 120 hours of time. So 120 hours means it is going to be two days Sorry, it is going to be two hours per day. So just two hours per day, which is going to be if we can spend for almost all, it is going to be 60 days, guys. Sufficient, guys, you can become a, which is going to be an Power BI expertise. You can become a Power BI expertise, guys, within just a 60 days. 120 hours, if you can spend two days per time, guys, that is sufficient, guys. So getting the data, importing the data and cleaning the data is a first step, guys. Then do the data modeling. That is what we call it as create the semantic models. 
So here only we have to define all the relationships, measures, calculated measures, and all these things we have to create in. Then create your visuals, guys, and publish or deploy your reports, guys. Publishing means you are sharing the reports to somebody. You're publishing. Once you publish them, the other users can access who want to access the reports. They can do that, guys. So these are going to be the four steps what we can do that. So why I'm discussing about this step is I want to show you the course content so that you can understand what exactly we are going to do, guys. So I'll show you the course content, guys. Once we have a look into the course content also, I'll share the Excel file also so that you can get the, uh, you can come to understand what exactly we are trying to do, guys. Just give me a second. Yep. Let me show you guys. This is going to be uh, what I can say that it is going to be the content. So I can, I'll share you these details also to you. Don't worry. I'll share this file also, guys. Have a look into this once. Just give me a second. I think something has been. Happen. Just give me a second. I will just check it out. Okay, I think some document has been got up. It has been changed, guys. I'll check it out. Okay, I'll update you for the tomorrow's class, guys. So I think I also didn't observe something has been uh, truncated here, there. Sorry, I think, mm -mm. yeah, it was there, guys. Sorry, it was there. Sorry, guys. Okay, so look at this one, guys. So this is going to be uh, whatever the topics, uh, whatever we are talking about that. So already we have started a little bit about introduction to Power BI. What is need of data visualization? Uh, what are the different type of data visualization roles? Uh, who requires the data visualization skills? I told you, and even a little bit, um, um, a little bit history about data visualization tools. Also, we already started with them, guys. Okay, isn't it? Last one day we have already done with these guys. Actually, we have to start with them. So one or two days I'll start with them, guys. So these are the topics, guys. Exactly, if you can see, totally there are going to be forty-five sessions are there, but. Exactly, we don't say that 45 sessions exactly. Why? Because according to this plan, first day, already this today is the third day, guys. So first day, we have already covered this. A little bit, I bought one or two days we covered. So I have taken two days. So today and tomorrow also, I'm going to take some other um, installations and all these things, what we can see. But observe carefully what exactly we are going to do that. So this is going to be where importing of data sources will start from here, guys. And after that, importing the data, and after that, what we have to do is, which is going to be how to work with, which is going to be data transformation. See, guys, how many sessions are there for the data transformations, guys? Almost all starting from the fourth session, guys, up to which is going to be 20th session, guys. That means almost all it is going to be 15, 16 days it will take in, guys. Almost all it is going to take 16 days it is going to take it as part of our plan. Maybe you add another four more days, guys, because some other discussions also will be there. Middle, there will be some case studies. Uh, all these we are going to be having, guys. So we'll be having approximately 20 sessions. It will be there, guys. So out of the 45 sessions, 20 days, almost if you can see, guys, this is going to be data transformations will be there, guys. And after the data transformations, guys, you will be having the data visualizations will come. So these are all the different type of data transformations, guys. 
see there managing the managing the columns and rows choosing the rows and columns storing the data in descending sorting the data in descending and descending orders managing the headers replacing of values merging the concepts i'll say that it is one day guys but practically it will take 3 days guys theoretically it will be one day guys but practically it will take 3 days it is going to take guys so both of them these two will take actually 3 days of time here it is only 2 days of time grouping of data we say one day but actually it will take 3 days of time guys because one case study and all these things what we have to do them okay so let it make it as which is going to be approximately guys somewhere around 20 days we can take in guys 20 days almost all it will take somewhere around 20 days after that it is going to be the data visualization starts guys this will take approximately another two more weeks it will take in guys so these are the different visuals we are going to work with them guys different types of visuals so bars and charts clustered bar charts stacked bar chart 100% stacked bar charts formatting the visuals line charts and area charts ribbon charts waterfall charts funnel charts okay case studies we are going to for every for every visualization guys we'll do a case study so last class i told you guys so as a data science expert uh, i know i was a data science expert guys so i know what is the importance of the data visualization so which type of visualization should be used in which type of scenarios so that is a case studies we are going to work with all of them guys so these are all going to be almost all takes a another 10 days so make it as another 10 to 12 days we can take in guys and then the third one is going to be nothing but your data modeling which will be done with the help of the dax so main important is going to be dax functions are going to be most important topic in the power bi guys so introduction to dax and what are the different types of dax functions are there so i was highly expertized in dax functions guys almost all 250 plus dax functions are there guys aggregates date and time functions mathematical trigonometry working with text functions logical and other functions information functions will be there there are some case studies are there filter functions will be there and reviews of dax expressions are there case studies on again the dax functions i didn't written some of them guys actually filter functions will be there information functions will be there and there is going to be table manipulation functions i didn't written them guys it is going to be table manipulation functions and apart from that we can see something like and uh, what we can say um, apart from the time intelligence functions are there all these are going to be some mysterious functions guys okay so these will takes approximately we'll say 10 days guys but that will takes 10 to 15 days it will take in guys and finally the last one guys this topic see each and every topic you can see minimum 10 days was there guys minimum 10 days 10 to 12 days 15 days it will take it finally the last one is going to be power bi service so last class also somebody has asking me sir how to work with bi you discuss about power bi service yes absolutely we'll work with the power bi service guys how to creating of a power bi account a free account only i'll create it you need not to purchase anything guys and even if you want to purchase also nothing matters guys it is somewhere around 10 dollars per a month so two months you can buy it guys not that no, does not matter 10 dollars hardly somewhere around 850 or something it will cost you so all these are going to be something guys scheduling of refreshing of semantic models creating of subscriptions creating of dashboards and app working with buttons and actions in power bi working with various prompts are there there are some mysterious topics are also there guys i didn't written just hardly you can make it as a 50 sessions you can make it guys 50 60 you can take it so almost all obviously sundays holidays right so approximately guys two two months we can take it or hardly it will be another 10 days hardly it is going to be 60 70 days it will take in guys okay and finally it is going to be one capstone project on the power bi so various projects we are going to do guys how they will do understanding the data so how do you create the models and all these things we discuss and then we'll create one capstone project on the power bi guys that will take three days of time so totally if we can see more than 60 days guys almost all what we can do that so hardly 60 70 days guys not more than that hardly 75 days not more than that okay so i'll share you this document also guys you can just go through them and if you have any doubts you can just uh, we can discuss it later also we'll discuss about that also guys okay yes so that also uh, i'm i'm going to discuss about that just give me a second once i'll cover that particular topic also okay so i shared this particular uh, i shared this content uh, in a power bi file guys so in the online portal whatever you see is going to be very less will be there guys if you go to that means uh, maybe uh, my back end team has been shared you the content like this guys so if you go to um, durgasoftonline.com so there power bi will be there guys there we are going to be having the power bi will be there so you can just go through the power bi 
So this is going to be one guys. So course content is that will be very small. That means that has been updated very long back guys, but concept is same. So it is going to be same thing guys directly. We don't start with directly with the downloads, right? So first we are going to discuss about what are the things and after that, how to get the data guys and how to work with the transformations and apart from visualizations are there. And this is going to be whatever the DAX concepts are there. And these are all going to be nothing but whatever the dashboards and all these things, whatever we create and how to share the, how to share your works and all these things. And finally tax. So concept is same guys. Only thing is, which is going to be nothing but. So don't worry about the prerequisites. So there are going to be some prerequisites, but there are not mandatory to understand that. Uh, because I said that to learn Power BI, so we don't require any prerequisite. But if you have a little bit, that means nothing is there, guys. If we have a little bit of SQL Server, so that will be a little bit an added advantage topic is there. Yes. So apart from this particular classes, guys, apart from this particular classes, so the additional what you are going to get it is, guys, one is going to be SQL Server. It is going to be the another one is going to be nothing but SQL Server, guys. And apart from that, a one more session on the business intelligence, guys. So nowadays, that means as of the current, I have seen the so many training programs. They don't teach you anything concepts about the BI, guys. They don't teach you any concepts related to BI. You go through any, any training program, guys. So you can see some kind of a training academies. What they will do is, guys, they will teach you this particular, whatever the so-called as uh, Power BI. SQL Server, they will give you the videos, guys. But here, I'm not going to give the videos, guys. This is, again, live training only, guys. It is going to be live training only. I'm going to give you, guys. Lively, I'm going to discuss them. But these classes will happen only on the weekend sessions only. It will be there, guys. That means you have to spare the Sunday and the Saturdays and Sundays, guys. The two after completion of your Power BI. It's an, Though it is not required as of now, guys, it's not required. You will understand, guys, automatically, once you learn Power BI, almost all some of the topics are part of your, which is going to be SQL part only, guys. But how much of SQL server is going to be discussing, guys? You don't require all the T-SQL programming and all these things, guys. It is only up to the basic extent of how much extent the Power BI is required. A Power BI developer is required. Up to that concept only, we are going to cover up them, guys. Okay. So for that, there are some specific topics are there. Main topics, guys, like joins topic is required, guys. So mainly the joins concept is required, guys. Joins concept is going to be, next one is going to be something called as a group by. And apart from that, something about the where clauses and a little bit environment. We should also know about some basic environment settings also. We have to know that. So we'll discuss about that, guys. It is going to take Saturdays and Sundays we are going to take in, guys. So you will understand why, because this joins concept, anyhow, I'll discuss in Power BI. In Power BI, the joins is nothing but what we call it as merge concept. Group by is as it is there as group by in the Power BI, guys. Where clause is what we are going to call it as filters in Power BI. So the same concepts we are already going to learn in Power BI. That's why learning them again in SQL Server is very easy, guys. Easily you can learn them. So there is nothing matter was there. I'll give you some, some documents I'll give you guys. Just if you go through that particular documents, you can understand them. I also will teach you everything as part of the classroom training, guys. Apart from that, business intelligence. Some few topics are there, guys. You should know about BI. Why? Because we are learning. Generally, the first question that comes in most of the interviews is going to be nothing but we are learning Power BI. What is this BI stands for? All of you know that BI stands for business intelligence. But what is the business intelligence? What exactly the business intelligence tools are there? Okay, what are the models we use it in business intelligence models? Okay, so we are having some small one or two classes it will take in, guys. Hardly it will take two sessions, not more than that. There are some terminologies are there, guys. What is a fact table? What is a dimension table? If you want, you can check it out, guys. Go online and verify what is business intelligence. So what is a fact table and what is going to be a dimension table? Some basic rules, guys, just the basic rules, like what is going to be star schema and what is going to be snowflake schemas. These are some of the terminologies you may, we, you may get in entry point of view. What is a data mart? What is going to be data mart? So a little bit, guys, we don't require a complete uh, business intelligence uh, terminologies. We need not to require it, guys, because almost all from almost all eight years, I completely worked on a tool called as MSBI. Microsoft Business Intelligence Tool. 
at that time guys it is from in around 2005 to 2013 it was there guys after that in msbi we are having as in msbi what we used to work ssis it is a in sql server integration services sql server reporting services sql server analysis services previously the people used to work with three through three tools guys ssis is an etl tool ssrs is a reporting tool we already discussed about this tool a little bit guys and ssas is going to be nothing but it is a multi-dimensional analysis tool guys so whatever the power bi we are learning is now is a successor of the ssrs only guys it is the power bi power bi is not the replacement guys it is a successor of the ssrs this is second generation reporting tool power bi is going to be comes under the third generation reporting tool guys and as you know that ssis is an etl tool ssas is going to be nothing but it's an analysis tool as a complete package we used to work guys that is what we call it as business intelligence suit what we used to call it as so i worked on msbi so and i was known about the importance of that just two classes guys hardly two sessions it will take it guys hardly two three sessions so it is good to know about what is fact table, what is dimension table, what is the star schema and what is the snowflake schemas, what are going to be data marts, what are the different types of models we are going to use. So etc guys, just a few four or five technologies are there. In SQL Server also guys, somewhere around five to six different topics are there like joins, group by, where clauses, etc, etc. If you just have a little bit idea about that, remaining is an optional part guys. I'll show them but we don't go details into them maximum joins group by where clauses and order by clauses these are going to be some of the main topics we are going to cover them mainly guys apart from that how to create the tables how to insert the data how to update the data these are all very simple topics only guys i'll show them but you have to explore more and more more details we are going to learn as part of these particular topics guys but these topics will be there only on the weekend sessions that too, after completion of Power BI, we'll have these classes, guys. Maybe two weekends or three weekends classes will be there. Okay. So that is about the, the whatever that concept of what we can say about the this particular course curriculum, guys. So share the course details. Uh, you can download it, guys. If anyone has missed it, once again, I'm uploading it, guys. If anyone has joined lately. So I'm sharing the Power BI, whatever that particular course content, once again. So if anyone wants, you can download the course content. If you have any doubts, guys, you can discuss it in the tomorrow's class. Some topics, I didn't add them, guys, because there are going to be some miscellaneous topics only. So I didn't add all the details. More than that only, you will get some other topics only, guys. As I told you, you know, table manipulation functions, I didn't add it there. Time intelligence functions also, I didn't add it there. And drill through, drill up, and uh, whatever the drill up, drill down, drill throughs, we have not cross, cross filters. All these topics, I didn't add it there, guys. Okay, there are miscellaneous topics, which we discuss it in the main classes. We are going to work on that, guys. Okay, so go through that document, guys. You will understand how the course curriculum will be there. And these are going to be the four stages, guys. Practically, this is going to be the four stages, guys. But in our training program, guys, so we don't follow the same sequence, guys. First of all, we'll start with get and importing the data. But actually, in real time, guys, in real time project, we have to do the data modeling first. But directly, if you go to data modeling, you can't understand because you don't know what is the requirement, what is the reporting here now. That's why in our training program, these two steps will be interchanges, guys. First, we will create the visuals, guys. And then we are going to create the, then we do the data modeling. But in practical, in scenario, in real scenarios, guys, first you have to do the data modeling and then we have to create the visuals, guys. Okay. But being here, we are the fresher. You don't know about what is your report, first of all. So once in real time, guys, you know what is your requirement of the report visuals, then according to that, we have to do the data modeling. But here, it is just these two steps we are going to interchange, guys. Step two is going to be create the visuals. Step three is going to be do the data modeling. Even in the course content also, the same order was there. First, transform the data, then create the visuals, and then DAX, and then deploy them, guys. Finally, we have to publish, or which is going to be share, or which we can say, deploy that particular visual reports, guys. Okay? So these are the basic steps what we have to follow, guys. And I shared you the course content also. And I just made you understand what are the other things also you are going to get it. So concepts of business intelligence and concept of SQL Server also, they're part of this particular training program. We are going to learn it, guys. Okay? So that's it, guys. That is going to be about the some of the basic introduction classes, what I can say that. 
So today is the third introduction class, guys. So almost all we completed the basic demos we have completed already. I think some of you have attending from the last three days or the third, the third day. Maybe some of you have attended the second day or maybe for some of you, it is going to be the first day, guys. So these are going to be the uh, whatever the complete details about the course content and our uh, roadmap to become a Power BI expert, guys. So that is what we are going to learn. So if you have any questions, I will take up some questions for today and we'll end up for today, guys. Tomorrow, I'm going to start with our uh, main course curriculum. I'll start from the tomorrow's class, guys. Okay. And I think all of you, um, if you are already satisfied with the demo sessions and if you want to go ahead, guys, so please uh, complete off your registration process. So 5,000 is going to be the course fees, guys. So 5K. So in that, as I already told you, guys, what are included, guys? It is going to be the live training sessions, guys. It is going to be the live training sessions plus along with the day-to-day -day recording videos, guys. It is only your class recording videos, guys. It is not some other recording videos. It's a day-to-day -day recorded videos we are going to get in, guys. Okay, so we don't charge any additional amount for the day-to-day -day recording videos, but this will be given an access for six months of time, guys. After that, you have to, I think, I don't think so, you require after six months of time. Because hardly three months, if we take it, the course, guys, another three months, it is available for you. So you can just refresh the classes if you can review the classes. After that, if you want to get access, we have to pay some money and you have to get the access, guys. Otherwise, I don't think so. Six months is more than enough. Why? Because three months course is completed, hardly two and a half months, two months, the complete course is completed. Another three months, you are going to get the access, guys. That is free of cost. So day-to-day -day recording, your class recording videos will be shared to you. And it is going to be live training sessions along with that. As I said that, I'll share all the documents and all these things. Main important is data sets, guys. So all the data sets, I will share it only through the Google Drive. I'm going to share it through the Google Drive, guys. So all the materials and all these things, you will get it. So if you want to get the access to the Google Drive, you have to complete your registration process, guys. So 5000 is a registration process. And it's immediately, it's not going to change in, guys. But in a couple of days, we are going to change the link, guys, because it is currently demo link only. So they will conduct, they will join demos. But once two or three days after, we are going to make it like a paid link. So who has been completed the registration, only those people will get that particular paid link, guys. And once you complete your registration process, you will also get the access to the drive. So all the recorded videos and all the soft copy materials, everything is available there. So we can access that particular, all the soft copies, materials. Immediately, it won't require because we are not yet started with the practicals. But if you want to study them, if you start your learning, so we can just get the access to the Google Drive also, guys. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you are, if you are, if you are just if you are uh, satisfied with the demos, and if you are really planning to go ahead with this particular course, guys, please complete off your registration process, or else you can attend another one or two demos, and then you can complete off your registrations, guys. Okay. Fine. So that's it uh, for the today's class from my side, guys. So if you have any questions, I can just take up some few questions and we can end up for today, guys. Yes. Anyone, guys, any questions from your side, if you have? Yes. No one? No questions, guys? Um, hello. Yes. Yes. The certification will be provided. Certification means it is a course completion certificate will be given by Durga Soft. Okay. It's only just course completion certificate. Okay, sir. And okay. To register for this classes. Hmm. Uh, my backend team. Have you? Uh, is your today their first class or have you already attended? No, sir. This is my first class. First class. Okay. Don't worry. My backend team will share you the details. And also, uh, there is some uh, already in the chat window. They already has posted the uh, the message. Just now they have been posted. So you can just go through them or else I'll post it one more time, guys. Mm. So they have been just uh, posted a message here, there. So what is the procedure for that? So the procedure, you can make a copy of that or else you'll also get a uh, mail. A follow-up mail also will come to your mail ID also. Uh, there is going to be a follow-up mail will be there. Just I'll show you how the follow-up mail will be there. Just give me a second. So there will be a follow-up mail also will be there, guys. So you can just go through that and um, you can uh, just give me a second. Yeah. So this is the one, guys. We'll get the follow-up mail like this. So you can go through that. And even if anybody wants, guys, I'll share you the recorded videos also. The last two recorded videos also I'll share it. So this is the link. 
um, uh, this is the link, guys. I'm sharing okay. the link here, guys. If anybody wants, we can copy there. And there, they will give you all the procedures, like how to access them. 5,000 only for this batch, uh, including uh, class pr class press, also video, plus soft copy materials. And six months access for the course, what from the course starting, what we can see, guys. And this is going to be the one what we can see it. And this is the one. So what is the payment procedures and all these things they have given. Right? Okay. Fine. Yep. Um, fine. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, good morning, sir. Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. What would be uh, what would be the regular class timings? It's an eight to eight a.m. to nine a.m. Eight to nine every day. Eight, every day. So, uh, two class we missed. In, uh, uh, I think na. Uh, two classes. It's a demo class. Today you joined is your first class. It is today, yeah, today first is class. first class, sir. Okay, no worries. It's only two classes happen. I have shared the link also there. In the chat window, you can see one YouTube link I have been shared at the last. You can uh, just click on the link and uh, you can copy the link. And just you can click on the link. The link, it is going to open the, the two videos what you have what I have taken in the last two yes, days. Link is not showing, in fact. It's not showing. Just a minute. I've shared it to everyone, right? One second, I'm sharing. In the chat window, it was available. I shared to everyone, right? In the chat, it is available, right? Click on the chat window. Click on the chat button. You can see there. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Sir, after yeah. completing this course and uh, mm -hmm. all the practice wins, mm -hmm. uh, and the interview time, uh, like I, I have uh, experience means like uh, it's seven twenty years of experience. But mm -hmm. in the Power BI, how many uh, years of experience I miss? I told to interview. Likewise. It's not like that. That we'll discuss it later because um, okay. right now it is going to be. You can do one thing. See, um, because I don't, you are saying that you are having somewhere around seven, seven, eight experience, eight years of experience. You're saying right? Yes. Okay. So see, one is going to be either you can say that you completely worked on the dedicated as a report mm -hmm. developer. Uh, power bi developer if you want you can put like this otherwise what you can do is depending on because i don't know what is your experience right so what is your experience basically seven to eight years of what is your experience there uh, sql sql and ssis uh, then what you can do is in sql and SQ, along with sql and ssis you can also put the reporting also as your expertise okay. Okay. along with that so in that case you can put five years of experience not a problem because okay. you're already working on SSIS and SQL, you're working, right? So it is easy. For you, it is very easy because you have the access to your data. You know what is ETL. Uh, SSIS is an ETL mm -hmm. tool, as you know that. And you already know. Um, that's Then in that case, what you can put it is, uh, you can say that I'm working on Power BI from the last five years. But don't put as a completely dedicated Power BI developer. Just say that along with SQL and SSIS, add this into your project. That's it. Because easily you can add this particular into your project easily without having okay. an issue at all. Okay. okay, that okay. we can discuss it later. Um, at the end, we can discuss it once again. That yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Right. right, thank you. Yep, guys. Yes, uh, Isha, have you got the link? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I got okay. I opened those. Okay, fine. So, there the two yes, videos uh, are there. One, one thing I want to ask, sir. yes, yes, yeah, sure. Actually, 10 years back, I worked uh, mm. uh, on like now dot net mm -hmm. so after that i did java course also but mm -hmm. uh, i was not working because of children. okay 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 so yes, it yes. would be helpful for me to join this um <laughs> it's a 10 years gap uh we have to think about that but uh, what is the thing is i suggest is going to be um learn a little bit see that is obviously um, that is going to be one of a genuine reason, actually. It is not any, uh, it's like a fake or it's not a false reason, right? So uh, the I suggest is nothing but because you want to again come back uh, after a 10 years of time, in, you should show yeah. some other expertise, like not only on Power BI. So you have to show some other SQL expertise. Um, if you can have some idea of about Python or Excel. So if you can add up a little bit more skills, then they will consider you. Otherwise, what will happen if you just like a fresher, if you learn Power BI and mm -hmm. go for an interview. So they don't consider all your experience and all these things. They don't consider at all. So basically, you are telling that I should uh, revise my Python. Mm. Uh, um, revise, and... Add some additional skills also along with Power BI. Oh, yes, sir. SQL, Python, if possible, Excel. These are all nowadays learning is very easy. 
Along with that, you can learn all those particular topic very easily. But I'm suggesting is don't go just only for a Power BI. Just along with that, at least some cloud also, at least if we have some knowledge of cloud. So add some additional things and then show some expertise. That is going to be better. That makes a differentiation, the difference between you and the other candidates, what they can find it off. Otherwise, um, freshers, they can add it. So otherwise, you have to go like a fresher. Okay. You Whatever the previous experience you're having, that they don't consider at all as of now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thanks all of you for today, guys. Yeah. Uh, sir, yes, uh, yeah. sir uh, uh, do you have any recommendation of the Tableau classes, sir? Um, If you want, you can learn it, but you, you do one thing. After completion of Power BI, you will learn uh, Tableau. Because in middle, mm -hmm. if you learn them, both parallel, you will get confused between both of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after completion of Power BI, then if you want, you can learn the Tableau. Same technique, same concept, same terminologies, everything will be same. There is not that much difference will be there. So that's why mm -hmm. um, learning is very easy. It won't take again this much time. Again, you don't have to spend 45 days again. So just you can complete it very easily. Only environment looks to be different, but remaining things are going to be the same as it is. So I recommend is if you learn after completion of really after completion of Power BI, then you can learn the Tableau if you are required, if you're interested to learn. Which sir, Durga Soft is not providing any classes. Uh, right now, I think no? I was Tableau. not sure about that Tableau. I was I was not sure about that. Okay. I think so... earlier there was some trainer used to be there, but right now I was not I was not aware about that. Uh, I think you can once go through them. Once you go through Durga Soft online, uh, maybe you will find any Tableau training courses there or not there. I, I was not checked, sure. sir. Checked I it. It's not there. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, even mean... okay. Okay. Uh, right yes. now also that's I think... why i'm asking sir if you, mm -hmm. uh, as you said sir you have uh, lots of experience mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so so sir uh, i know you whatever your recommendation your recommendation would be in the genuine okay right now so... it's not required as of now concentrate on power bi don't concentrate on multiple uh, tools at a time we'll get confused between that and this basically Okay, okay, if you learn C++, Java, both at a time, how, how will you get how will you get confused at a time if you learn both the languages? Isn't it? You will use this syntax there, that syntax is here. But this is GUI-based tool. You can learn it. But I don't know how much uh, you are expertized because, see, we we can work um, parallelly. We can learn both of them. We can work at both parallelly at a time because we have that much experience is there. But for some freshers and all these things, what they will get confused with that between two languages at a time or two tools at a time. So my recommendation is after completion of Power BI, if you are interested to learn, learn Tableau. It's not required, but if you want to learn, that is up to your interest. You can learn it. Another 5,000, if you pay, you'll get a Tableau training. Um, well, who, who will take that uh, training, sir, Tableau? Where? Here, in Drugasoft. Yes. Uh, I was not sure about that because, see, we are right now, we are working from almost all four years, we are working online. So we don't know anybody. So we don't know anyone personally. Previously in offline classes, we used to be aware about that. Why? Because we'll go there, what trainings are starting, we know we are aware about that. But now we are working online from the last four years. So we, we don't know uh, their faces and we don't know anything about those particular trainings. Yeah. But I'll check so, it out. Uh, I'll check it out if anybody is there once. Yes, please, sir. Yeah, if sure. you uh, go, if you will go through anyone mm. who mm. has experience and genuine, yes, because yes, because it's it's a uh, Am Amar Pritier is a lots of trainer. We mm. they have a yeah, yeah. very less experience, but showing a, a, it's a very uh, good experience. See, but uh, see, see the thing is, see, uh, I see. Sir, I'll suggest here is see. Um, my experience is twenty years of experience. So see, uh, the thing is. Um, it's my personal experience I'm saying that. So earlier, that means um, later we'll discuss about them. I don't want to take any much time. So earlier, that means when we started in year 2000, around 2003, I started with them. At that time, the market was very, very good. Trainings are good. So after that, what happened at that time, what we thought is uh, the same will happen, same thing will continue. And uh, at that time, I used to recommend them. So if anybody says that, sir, we want to come into the training side, I used to recommend them. Okay, if you really have that uh, uh, skill, that skill is required. See, um, training, uh, the technical skills are different and uh, the... Uh, what we can say is uh, the expression, the how you are explaining, explanation skills, that is main important for us. It's not like if, if even if I don't know about Power BI also, 
that means if and i don't know anything about that much about power bi also my main skills my teaching skills my whatever explanation skills are important because that will attract you not the practical skills don't attract you at all so mm -hmm. uh, but now i am recommending if anybody is saying that sir we are coming into the training set i'm i'm frankly i'm saying that don't come into the training set because we already came and we we cannot go back with 20 years of experience i cannot go into a uh, software company and i cannot uh, uh, manage the 20 years of experience it's not possible for me but what happened here is due to some luck for me it is going to be i keep on upgraded myself because in my 20 years of experience i have multiple skill sets are there i working on data science right now so that was able to i was able to survive was able to handle it but that cannot be happens to everyone right so mm -hmm. uh, that's the thing we'll find the trainers we'll find the trainers but thing is 50% if you we teach 50% you have to explore mm -hmm. that is the thing what i suggested because learning uh, every time you cannot come back and again every time you cannot learn each and everything from the trainer you should be you are you have grown up grown up so you are adults so you have to learn by yourself somebody has to just mentor you that's it somebody has to guide you that's it so these are the we are the mentors we are not the trainers we are the mentors for you so what is a mentor will do you will just learn them will guide you whether you are learning correctly or not something we are going to so 50% is from my side 50% should be exploration from your side okay sir okay mm -hmm. fine okay. thank you okay so that will discuss it later guys so thanks all of you guys for today sir uh, uh, actually there is a small question yes yes shivam shivam right uh, who is sir, that i am working on a excel right now okay okay yes but i don't have any knowledge about sql Hmm. Okay. No worries. No, don't. No, no, there is no need to do that. What see? What is difference between SQL and Excel? SQL we are going to do everything with the help of SQL queries. In Excel, everything you are going to do it. But if you learn, if you have the idea about Excel, learning Power BI is very, very similar to that. Okay, sir. Okay. Very, very similar to that. Exactly the same as it is. If you want. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Only DAX will make the difference. That is the only difference. What you are going to do in in Power BI. Okay. Sir. Okay. Right. Yes. Any more guys? Any more questions? Okay. So thanks all of you for today, guys. Just for today, I'll stop it here. Tomorrow, I'll start with a little bit basic introduction, guys, like installation of software, what softwares we have to install, which software is used for what purpose. I'll discuss about all those things. And then we'll start with a little bit practicals and not practicals, guys. One or two days, we have to still, we have to become a habit check to, to that particular environment, how the environment looks like and all these things we discuss. And then we'll start with the practicals in a couple of days, guys. Okay. So thanks all of you for today. We'll meet up tomorrow, guys. Thanks all of you, guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you, sir.